everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am shooting in the bird park here in Bali and I'm going to take you with me on the behind the scenes. I'm going to show you around and show you how I work with animals and so on. It's going to be a very exciting one to stick around. Um, before we get into this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell button to not miss any of my future uploads and let's get right into it. First, I'd like to thank Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Storyblocks is a members-only site that is a one-stop shop for high-quality stock footage as well as images and audio. They offer high-quality B-roll footage, After Effects templates, and motion backgrounds that won't break your budget, and are all royalty-free, so they can be used in a variety of your personal and business projects as well as on YouTube. They offer different monthly and yearly pricing options depending on what you need. Once you join, anything in the video library is yours to download as much as you want, which is amazing. There has been a bunch of times where I was forced to take my own behind the scenes for YouTube, and it was always very stressful because when you take photos and you have to film at the same time, it's usually quite a lot to handle. So having a page like Storyblocks that provides me with B-rolls, that will make the video way more exciting and it will elevate it. So if you guys are interested in checking out Storyblocks, make sure to use my link down below. It's storyblocks.com slash Anita. And happy browsing and let's get right into the video. So in today's video, I would like to offer you some insight on how it is working with animals on set when it comes to, you know, interacting with models and so on. Um, I have quite a bit of experience of working with animals because those are the kind of shoots that I enjoy doing. They are usually quite challenging, you know, there is a reason why they say don't work with children and animals because they don't really listen to you right? and, and they don't really care. So um, it's definitely something that you have to keep in mind when organizing photo shoots with any sort of animals as dogs, cats, rabbits, chickens. I, I actually have done it all. But anyway, um, I've done a parrot shoot before. It was sometime a few years back. There's actually a little behind the scenes on my YouTube channel, but it was done in the studio and um, it was in a white background. So it was nice, but I always wanted to do something in nature. So I was really excited when the Bali Bird Park invited us to come over and do the shoot. I was super, super excited about it. So we organized the whole thing. We had a bunch of parrots that we got to shoot with and a few other birds. But I just wanted to share with you some kind of pointers that I have for working with animals in general. Yeah, so we're setting up the shot at the moment. We are just getting uh, Pamela here without the bird first. So once the bird is on, we can just take the photos. It's just the easiest way because it said with working with birds, you don't really know what to expect. You don't want to keep them on your shoulder for too long because they might start acting up, changing your hairstyle and whatnot. <laughs> so we just have everything set up and then once she's ready, we just put the bird on her shoulder and that's it. Hi, baby. Maybe he will cover my face. Maybe. Yeah, it's, it's not okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't think he responds to that. Yes. Cool, yeah. So as you see, we're getting different shots and different angles. Our model is really nice and calm, so that's great. You know, it is kind of stressful. Hey baby, you're doing so good. So I think the main difficulty today will be the fact that we are working with live animals. As you guys saw on my channel, I've done a few of those before where I work with dogs and actually birds as well. And you know, with animals, they're pretty unpredictable. So it's usually harder to get the shot because you can't really just tell them to pose a certain way. So this is definitely something that I'm going to be tapping onto and just kind of trying to direct the model to work with the bird rather than having the bird work with the model, that makes sense. Um, the birds here are pretty calm. They just do their own thing. Um, I think they're used to tourists taking photos with them. But um, yeah, we are going to be just trying to get nice shots. It's mostly going to be cropped images anyway because it's all about the kind of beauty aspect of the shot. That's fine, don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah. Don't bring him up too high because then you're covering the gray one. Yeah. Okay. Could actually swap them around as well. Nice. Hey, Booba. Chin up here. Beautiful. Nice. Bring him a bit, yeah. Amazing. Nice. 
Yes, that's lovely. Hey, birdie. Hey, birdie. Beautiful. Should not snap Yeah, not too much. And a bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect, we have it. Okay. I think the main thing when I was working with the parrots was to just make sure that the models and the parrots are comfortable with each other. Um, you know, the birds are quite big and their claws are pretty massive. So, um, you know, sitting on the model's shoulders, they're quite close to her face. So I definitely understand the concern, you know, um, there were certain situations where the bird was picking on the model's hair and she was getting a bit stressed out because obviously it's a big wild animal that is sitting on your shoulder. Um, so that's definitely something to keep in mind when you're working with um, birds or with any sort of animal that you have to be very patient, but at the same time, you do have to work a bit faster than you would usually because the birds or the animals will possibly get annoyed or tired and they just won't want to really, you know, just sit there and take photos, which is completely understandable. They don't really have a say in being in the shoot in the first place, so I totally get that. But um, yeah, it's just something to keep in mind that you have to be quite quick with how you take the photos, being quite efficient with it. Um, try and change as quick as possible. You don't want to stay there forever and take photos forever because as I said, um, especially with any sort of animals, you have a very limited amount of time where they will be willing to co cooperate. Also, another thing is you have to be quite savvy with your frames because um, it's usually very hard to capture the animal and the model looking good at the same time. Sometimes I had situations where I had to Photoshop maybe a bird onto a model. So let's say the bird was facing in a different direction or something. So I would just take a bunch of photos and then compare the ones where the bird looks good and then where the model looks good and then you just put them together in Photoshop. It's a, it's a lot of work. So obviously ideally you would want to get it on the day and you'd want to get it right. But if you can't do that, it's always an option as well. For this shoot, I was just trying to find areas in the park that were really nice and lush and green. I wanted to have as much greenery behind the models as possible. Um, I didn't really want to stand in the direct sunlight because it was quite harsh and contrasty. A lot of the clothing that we had was black as well, so I just didn't want to add to the heaviness of the shadows. So I kept the models in the shade. And this way, first we weren't as hot and the birds weren't as hot and it was just all in all easier to get a more balanced image. Um, some of the photos were still quite harsh in terms of contrast, but I um, fixed it afterwards in Lightroom, so it wasn't really a problem. When I work with animals, I always want to try and capture the connection between the model and the animal. So with the birds, I wanted them to be as close as possible to the model, kind of interact with the model as much as possible. Um, I went for a bunch of quite close-up shots where you can see the parrot's face and the model's face very well, um, because I just think it makes the shot a bit more interesting and there's this very natural, element binding the two together and I think it makes it for a much more interesting shot than just the model standing with the bird very stiff. Um, obviously the models are limited to the way they can move with the birds because they don't want to upset them or you know make them feel uncomfortable so obviously you have to keep that in mind when posing. Um, the majority of the photos that we got ended up being just standing because um, it was pretty hard to do anything else. We did get a few sitting shots as well, but I think the standing shots were usually um, kind of the best looking. I, I went for almost like a slight beauty editorial kind of look. Um, I did a mix of beauty and full body, of course, um, just to show off the outfit a tiny bit. But all in all, I feel like the close-up shots are the ones that I can relate to the most and that I find the most exciting. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this very unusual behind the scenes. And if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next Sunday.